Today we're going to be painting with nail polish, but there's a twist. <gasps> oh my god! Hi art friends. Hello art friendos. Cast your minds back to 2016. Trends at the time were water bottle flipping videos, mm -hmm. carpool karaoke, oh. and a musical banger also known as Pen Pineapple Apple oh my. But let me help you visualize it specifically with the Wayback Machine. This is our YouTube channel in the era of roughly 2016. We're going to be retouching on an art challenge that was from this time era. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. That's a cute idea. An OG Doodle Date video, which mm -hmm. we've actually done twice. So this will be, we'll be making it a trilogy? Yes, this will be the, the third time oh, that we so have touched cool. on this. I'm so excited. And it's going to be painted with nail polish, but we have a new twist to it this year that you haven't oh. seen. So what, what is this? What, what have you got planned? Right, previous nail polish videos that we've done. In the very first one, we had uh, three colours plus Elsa. Um, the second video, we had like a whole box of nail polishes that had been donated to us. Oh, that one now, was wonderful. Yeah, I loved that. This one's getting an extremely 2016 call because it's also a one colour art challenge, oh. which used to be all the rage. What you got there? So we have got Crayola nail polish. Oh, I don't know if I want to put that on my body. <laughs> now, as you might know, we are British YouTubers. Yes. And due to this, pretty much anything Crayola can be hard to get into the country. Especially stuff like this. Especially, I didn't know this yeah, existed. The nail polish isn't imported into the UK. No. So I had to pay horrific prices to get this yet again. All these videos that you see with Crayola for the most part have been horrifically priced for me. <laughs> she's, she's living out of a box for you guys with these Crayola products. So at first I was imagining, let's get this vast array of colors of like Crayola nail polishes. Ooh. And I couldn't even find anyone who was willing to import them into the country. I mean, it's a pretty good color. Sixteen pounds. Oh! oh. But what? They also said they can throw in two extra bonuses for us. Yeah, that that was the bargain place coming. Twist of this video is they gave us a blue mascara. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wasn't even aware that mascara came in. I wasn't blood. expecting that, no. And a box of Winky Lux. <laughs> Whatever that what is. What is a Winky Lux? <laughs> it's like the same colour as our table thing. Winky. Which I presume is also like a bluey coloured eyeshadow. Oh, it's a, it's yeah. going to be one of two things, isn't it? It's going to be either eyelashes or something to put on your Winky. Oh, that is very cute, actually. We're going to be using... Oh. These three supplies, I guess, to... To make art with. To make artwork. Can I make her an artistic request? What is it? Paint me. Do you want me to paint your nails? Yeah, paint my nails. Even though I've got a tremor. Okay, I'm ready to be made beautiful, my love. Th this, I just realised, I'm the swatch today. You are indeed. I'm a gorgeous swatch. Do I have to do both hands? No, you can just do the right hand. Just so people can get a feel for the colour and stuff, you know. <laughs> I am not the right person. Oh my god, that smell. How about you just do that one? Oh lord. How about, yeah, you just do that one. <laughs> and, and my thumb. Oh god, I'm getting it everywhere. Stop it. I mean, a Crayola isn't known for its, like, cosmetics, right? But you gotta admit, that's gone down pretty smooth. So far, so good. I'm impressed with it. I got a bit <laughs> on my finger. Look at that. I'm like, what? 25% fabulous. Are you inspired to draw anything or anything in particular with I'm it? I'm so glad that you asked because it's September, which oh. as you might know, is also known as Steph Tender. I'm Steph, by the way. Oh my nice God. to meet you. The prompt list that is all themed around Steph? Yes, made by Lollipop Bug this year. I'll put it on screen so you can see the prompts if you want to join in. Yeah, so I need to check refer to that list to find out what it is that we are drawing today. Day number seven is crayons. <laughs> oh, how apt! How on earth are we going to use nail polish to do something crayon themed? How about we colour in a blue crayon? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I haven't even swatched the art supplies yet and Adam's already oh, ran away and started sketching something. When inspiration hits, honey, you've got to grab it by the... by, by, by the winky looks. <laughs> there we go. I thought, like, if we're gonna do a crayon, because the theme is crayons, why not draw a giant Crayola crayon for one? That we can try and colour in with the colour that we've been given. Okay, I like where so this is going so far. 
And it kind of reminded me of the vibes of like, um, gosh, I guess that you might know this if you were in the UK, maybe in America and other places, but do you remember in Art Attack, there was a TV show called, I was wearing the jumper at the start of the video, uh, Art Attack, it's like a big red jumper thing. Um, the set design for that always had these really massive, like, props. Art supplies, yeah. Yeah, it had, like, props of, like, crayons and scissors. So what <laughs> I wanted to do was, like, maybe, like, a poach or something. <gasps> oh, a dog with a job. Yeah, maybe a poach or something. And I was thinking what they could probably wear is something similar to Steph, where they have, like, a stripy shirt and maybe, like, a pinafore or something like that. And they're just sort of holding it. They're like, oh yes, I like big novelty art supplies. And you can, oh, I can have a little pocket at the front to put your paintbrushes oh, and stuff. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. I love fashion with function, honey. <laughs> mm. You know, before I get too into this design, mm. maybe you should swatch the things because yes. we, do, we don't actually <laughs> we don't actually know how well it's going to take to this paper. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm happily drawing a dog. Can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Get your hands off my winky. Stop saying <laughs> That's what it's called! That's it, just give it a little, little rub. Yeah. <gasps> oh! So that's oh. kind of like a chalk pastel. Look at the texture on that! Oh, shut up, I like that. <laughs> They'll shock that there's even like. Oh, that's not this. gonna have a brush on it, is it? Oh my oh, god! My god. <gasps> oh no! The person who ever bought these, they must have been wanting to do like a, a super blue car outfit or, or, they, or they were like a smurf again though you can get some pretty good texture out of that now, i'm not sure how well that's going to set i wonder if we'll have to use some Look kind of like varnish or like mod podge or something to get it to, to seal get it to the textures are off the charts though i'm very impressed with these two. Oh. Okay, so Look that's that. our art supplies of today. All three have got a different texture. I love that. Also, if you want to draw along with us, the theme, or suggested theme, is crayons. If you've got some nail polish hiding around, feel free to paint with that. Or if you want to go with like this ultramarine colour palette, feel free to pick up that as well. Oh, I do love the artwork on it though. I've never heard, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm being a bit immature because of the name, but I, I do. <laughs> Isn't the design and everything of this very cute? It's so reflective and the little character on it's very cute as well yeah it says mermaid kitten and ursula at the bottom is that the name of the cat hi art friends welcome to the floor of reflection did you guys know that our channel is funded through patreon and that's the reason why we're able to still make videos to this very day so if you want to see more videos subscribe for one door and also consider supporting us on patreon so we can bring you even more snazzy videos What's going on here? Okay, admittedly, I don't have a fully fleshed out idea yet. Okay. And I'm inspired by the colour because it's blue, and I'm going to do a like a blue lobster. Oh, those are so rare. Yes, but I need to figure out how to incorporate a crayon. So he could either be holding a crayon or like dancing with a crayon, or maybe he uses one as a walking stick. To... Approximately 10 hours later. Oh, and what if the crayon is actually like a little broken nub of a crayon because he used his pincer like too hard on it and it like snapped. <laughs> he just holds his art supplies a bit too tight like me and <laughs> snaps them. <laughs> oh, I like him. Oh, that's cute. It's sticking to the theme. I like what we've came up with so far. I think it's quite sweet. Now I just need to figure out how to get like his little pencil around it. Now feels like a great time to go down memory lane oh God. and to introduce you guys to Dr. Lobster, which was Adam's uh, original character he made during a live stream. We did that on a stream on YouTube, yeah. Yeah, quite a long time ago, but he's a doctor and he tells everyone that it's fatal. Well, it's your own fault if you find a lobster <laughs> to be your doctor. But he's a sticker and he's on our red bubble. Do so. check it out, guys. Yeah. The red bubble's pretty banging. What does it say on that crane? It says doggos because I couldn't fit Crayola I tried. Ah, uh, that makes sense. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just trying to get a feel for it because it's uh not too soft. I will ink mine first. <laughs> it's a it's a right chunkster. What I'll do is I'll probably work my way up. I reckon you're gonna have a really good time with that eyeshadow and smudging it because Adam loves like graphite so like Yeah, what I wanted to do is they're like holding it and it's made like a trail at the bottom. Oh, that's a cute Like idea. she's been dragging it along, yeah, and I want to uh, use that at the bottom. So hopefully that'll look pretty cool, we'll see. There might even be some of them who are doing it right now along with us. Oh, if you are, you need to get onto our Discord and tag me in it. Because I want to <laughs> see, I want to see it. And we have a pet section in there as well, I love getting tagged in your pet pictures. You guys have the cutest animals. 
You know, I might just be putting in that extra bit of effort just to impress you. Okay. Woo! We love to hear it, dear. You know what else we love to hear? What's that? The notification bell. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Give him a little tickle and he'll play a little song for you. You know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna grab the mascara and I'm gonna do that right now. Because look. Oh, that does look. See, it looks really like she's been dragging it along texture. the floor. Yeah. So maybe she's like been dragging it. We could incorporate your swatches as well <laughs> if, we, if we drag it over here. Oh my goodness, I'm making such a pooch mess. What am I gonna do? Maybe she's making a big art attack on the floor. Do you remember those? But we could even do some on like her, on her clothes as well. So maybe she's been getting in like a big old mess. Who would have thought mascara brushes were so good at adding texture to things? Look at that. Where's me winky? There it is. I'm trying to make it look like a, like a spaniel. You know, spaniels tend to have dark ears. Oh, wow, he's found a new favorite art supply. <laughs> I'm, I'm stimming like there's no tomorrow. I could, be, I could be ruining this, but the thing is, is that I'm having a good time. <laughs> so it, does, it doesn't really matter, does it? As long as you're having fun and a good time, that's the message we're trying to promote around here, isn't it, dear? Honey, I've just made an amazing discovery. The eyeshadow is a razable look. What? I didn't know this. Does that mean, in theory, you could just like erase this off your eyelids? Erase your face. I wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> but if you're gonna like use it on paper. New makeup hack just dropped. Look at that. Oh my God, it's cleaned it up so much better than like what I could have done otherwise. His eyeshadow made of graphite. <laughs> oh, that'd be kind of grim, wouldn't it? Oh, but it works. Oh, I'm so pleased. That's come out so much cleaner now. I'm a very happy boy. Because that means I don't need to do the pencil lines either. I can just erase the whole thing and it'll look a lot more like natural and smoother, see? Wow. I can't get over how easily that's actually picking that up. Yeah, look at that. It's not even, it's, I'm not even pressing down like hard. I'm just taking my time and it's doing a great job. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Honey, oh my God, another amazing discovery. Okay. Look at this. Wow. You can erase mascara. <laughs> The beauty community shaking. Look I at know, this. I'm shaking. What on earth? I mean, it's not as perfect as the eyeshadow, but that's definitely a raise in that. I am quickly taking a picture of this drawing before I inevitably ruin it no. with nail polish. <laughs> that looks so cute. The, seriously, the lines, that's so clean looking. Well, it won't be looking clean for long. It would, oh my God, it'll be fine. I'm so excited to see how you, what your take is on it. It's very thick. Hit and the brush is very it's big. It's so like flat. So I'm thinking blue uh, nail polish for this lobster guy. And I haven't worked out any of the other details. It doesn't matter because the nail polish will be perfect because it's been going down so smooth. It's going to be so hard to go around his first details. No. Well, that's why I'm surprised you inked it first. Because if it dried, I thought you would have inked it second. I didn't know if the ink could go on top of it because it's a varnish. Oh. See, this is why she's more than just a pretty face. I'm using my noggin. She's got that big brain too. Shut up. No. Is it going to let you get away with that? No, are you for real? I'm trying to put like a thinner coat over oh like my. the face. It's working coat. though, look at that. I was erasing some of my pooch face and I just realized there's a whole lot of blue going on over here. It's real stinky over here because I've used a oh lot of nail polish. God. I've discovered you can use it like thinner to go over the line art and then you can also use it thicker to get like darker colors. So I've been sort of trying to mix up my painting technique have you been using it like gouache? Yeah, almost, I guess. But the parts that I'm sort of struggling more with are like these little legs. Use the leggies. But it's okay. Like you say, you've got a tremor and I have to admit you're doing very well because that's very fine detail in her. Well, I'm trying to do like these intricate little bits on this claw. I was just thinking, you know what this video for some reason has just reminded me of? Oh. It's a, a bit of a throwback to another old video, but can you remember when mystery boxes used to be? Oh, I loved anything? those! I In, loved mystery boxes, well, yeah. Any of those who've been on our channel for a long time, it's given me Laura <laughs> Ashley vibes. Oh, God, no. And those who out know, of, they know. <laughs> out of all of the ones it could remind you of, it's reminded you of that one. I think it's because someone sent us like a, a bunch of like random products. Like we just wanted nail varnish and we've got like other things as we well. We got sent someone's like unwanted Christmas present because it was all <laughs> Laura Ashley stuff. 
I loved the mystery box trend. I hope it comes back one day. They still sell mystery boxes on eBay, you know? Oh, well, guys, like this video if you want to see us uh, do an old mystery box. I would love to do one. Because you never know what it's going to be. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Oh! Get my finger in this for this crown. Can you? I hope like this camera can pick up the detail. I love like how all of these have been different textures. I was like so pleasantly surprised when we swatched them, and that's coming from me being <laughs> pleasantly surprised by swatching. I thought that that looks kind of like the tip of like the Crayola. Oh yeah, it does. Pattern. Yeah. Uh, I did try and do some of the ink lines on top of the nail polish as well. Because I thought some of it was getting lost. Was getting lost. Yeah. I think it looks great so far. I'm very excited to see what you do with this as well. It's okay. so blue. Let's see. Oh, 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 that's a nice texture. Shut up. Look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. Oh my god, guys, if you're a traditional artist and you find yourself needing to uh, paint some seaweed, <laughs> just grab some. Look at that. I'm so impressed. That's amazing. I've got to admit, hon, I'm so pleasantly surprised at all of the texture and how vibrant this all is. Make sure you check out our Crayola playlist because oh. that thing's been popping off recently. Yeah, and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another Doodle Date. Bye-bye.